Hey guys, it's Nate with Sauce Ate the Boss here again, and today is day number 267 of quitting alcohol. Well, I'm in uh, Maui right now. We flew over from Kauai to Maui yesterday, uh, late at, late morning actually, and uh, so I've been exploring uh, Maui for the last day and a half, and uh, they're really two different islands. Kauai is very rugged and beautiful, less populated. A little bit cooler, uh, definitely a wetter island. Maui's a little more dry, warmer, definitely more touristy. Um, still a beautiful island. I think so far between the two, uh, Kauai's my favorite. But uh, again, we've got another, what, six days here to still explore. So uh, that may change. I'll let you know. But uh uh, what I wanted to talk about today is uh, just some of these days of this drinking journey can be, uh, or this, this non-drinking journey can be really challenging. And what I mean by that is uh, vacations for me, uh, camping, those types of things are uh, triggers where I associate vacationing with relaxing and alcohol. And then to compound that everywhere I go on this island, whether it's down to the beach, to a restaurant, into the grocery store, uh, there's just alcohol everywhere. People around the condos I'm renting, drinking on their balconies, uh, walking by you holding drinks. And uh, and that's all fine, you know. I mean, these people can do, do whatever they want to do. And um, a lot of these people don't have a drinking problem. They're just enjoying themselves and having a drink. But um, to a drinker, ex-drinker like myself, it's just a environment where you have those old thoughts and feelings about alcohol. And uh, sometimes you start to get a little bit, uh, I hate to even use the word resentful, but uh, resentful, you think that, that you can't drink, that I can't drink, you know. And I was thinking about that today. And the reality of that though is I can drink, I could choose Today, there were times today where I thought, screw this, I'm just gonna, you know, put the videos down and, and throw caution to the wind and enjoy myself on this vacation. And um, I don't even like telling you guys this stuff because I want these videos to be motivational and um, something that really helps people to quit drinking. And I feel like talking about the fact that, uh, you know, here I am 267 days in and I'm still getting cravings. Uh, and still have triggers is kind of uh, uh, a downer, you know, but um, also the point of doing this channel was to be real and honest and uh, it's okay and, and normal, I, I guess, I'm guessing it is to be, you know, 267 days in, go on a vacation to Hawaii, seeing a bunch of people drinking and kind of be like, damn, you know, I'd kind of like to be drinking, you know, and um, so, uh, and I see it for what it is and you have two choices when those thoughts um, pop in your head. You can either dwell on them and uh, uh, think about them, let them fester, get worse and stronger, or you can switch your thinking around to something else, get up and do something like I've talked about. And today, for some reason, they, they were kind of festering around a little bit. And I think part of it was, you know, every time I turned around, you know, uh, somebody be walking by, uh, you know, with a pina colada or a margarita or a group of people be sharing a bottle of wine or, I mean, it's just like, you can't, it's like everybody around you is doing drugs, you know, and you're just sitting there not, and, and I'm glad I'm not, but at the same time, it, it just made it really a difficult day. and. Um, you know, I think a lot of people associate vacationing with alcohol and, um, and again, some people don't have a drinking problem and many of these people that are drinking are just doing that, just drinking on vacation and they probably get home and don't drink much, you know, but, um, you know, it's, uh, one of those things that, uh, you have to adjust to at some point or you, uh, just never vacation. You never go to restaurants. You, you stay away from the uh, grocery store section that has the alcohol like the plague because you're afraid of, you know, relapsing or whatever. And I think in the beginning, you do need to be careful, uh, with putting yourself in a situation that's really going to make you fall to temptation, you know, but uh, on the flip side of that, you have to live life. You have to uh, learn to deal with the triggers, the cravings, and overcome, um, you know, your past drinking life. Or what's the point, right? You know, willing yourself to 
um, not drink every day and willing yourself to stay away from those environments forever, I just don't think is a long-term solution. At some point you have to get in the game, you know, and uh, put yourself out there in vulnerable positions. Uh, again, I'm not saying in the beginning, and hell, maybe 267 days is, is uh, pretty early uh, for somebody that drank for 20 plus years, you know. But uh, nonetheless, uh, that's me. That's I'm not going to sit around and wait for uh, ever for um, you know all the triggers and cravings to completely die down and, and not live life. But until then, you know, I mean, that's just not me. And uh, so I, I guess the point of today's video is to let you guys know that uh, you know you could be uh, you know into this journey. I'm sure there's some of you probably two years in, 10 years in, maybe 20 years in that still get the occasional craving for a drink or the trigger happens. And, um, you know, uh, it's something that, uh, you know, maybe uh, I've talked to people that have smoked and, um, you know, 10 years later, all of a sudden they find themselves hitting their shirt pocket, reaching for that pack of cigarettes because uh, all of a sudden they just got that inkling for a cigarette again. And, and it's a fleeting moment. It comes and goes. And uh, But today was a tough one. And there's been a few days while I've been here um, on the islands that uh, it's just such a alcohol-driven place around here, or at least it seems to be. And, and maybe I see it more that way than an average person would just because I used to have a uh, problem drinking. And, and so I see all these people drinking and maybe others don't even notice it, you know. Um, that could be very well true as as, as well, but uh, nonetheless, for me, I just uh, see it, observe it, and um, get the little cravings and try to try to get through it, you know. And there's been times today where I have pulled out that willpower tool and um, you know said, you know, I'm just not going to drink on this vacation, you know, and um, because there were times, you know, where that thought festered maybe just a second too long, I let it and. There were times when it was like, you know, screw this, you know, I'm just putting the camera down, sauce ate the boss is over and I'm heading to the store and gonna, you know, get some something to drink and, you know, just, uh, you know, if you, if you let something fester even just five seconds too long sometimes, um, that shit can just really spin out of control and, and uh, make you do dumb stuff. And, but uh, anyway, so that's kind of it for today, guys, just sharing with you that, uh, you know, uh, it's been a tough, you know, day today, and there's been some other days uh, since I've been here in Hawaii that have been kind of difficult. But today was kind of the uh, the most challenging one. It just seemed like everywhere I went, there were people drinking, and it looked like they were having a good time. And uh, again, you start to feel angry or resentful that you can't drink. And like I say, that's so dumb because uh, I can drink. If anything, I'm resentful and angry at the fact. And I don't even like the word resentment. It's such a bad thing and bad word. We got to learn not to resent stuff. But it's like, you know, if anything, I resent the fact that I let alcohol kind of have that power over me for so long. And, and I get I get frustrated and angry that kind of it still does sometimes like you know, like on this trip. And, um, you know, and I just see that, too, for what it is and learning to deal with that. And, and uh, I know with time that'll probably fade as well and stuff and. But um, so that's it for today, guys. I'll leave it there and let you guys know how tomorrow's going. Um, again, it's not like I'm not having a grow or having an amazing time. And this has been a, just a uh, incredible experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things that uh, vacations can be a little more challenging and difficult. And just be careful not to let those temptations run away with you and those thoughts because uh, it can be easy. You know, it, it, one bad uh, thought that lingers too long can uh, really drag you back down if you let it. And so you just got to be on your game. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of be handy at the steel, if you know what I mean, earn your keep. So <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. If you guys are enjoying these videos, uh, please give them a like, subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, Sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.